for scene one of The Taming of the Shrew, Grumio arrives at Petruccio's house in Verona and rouses the other servants for their master's arrival. He warns Petruccio is in a violent temper, so all of the servants must take care to be neatly dressed and ready to attend on their master. Petruccio arrives with Catherine and immediately starts berating his staff. He strikes one servant for pulling off his boots too roughly, and another for spilling a pitcher of water. When dinner is served, he becomes enraged because it's overcooked. The servants all flee. Now that she and Petruccio are alone, Catherine tries to reason with her husband. He insists that it's better to go without dinner than to eat such over-roasted flesh. He leads her to her bedchamber and, after a few harsh words overheard by the servants, returns to the stage. Here, in a brief soliloquy, he describes his dastardly <laughs> plan to deprive Catherine of food and sleep until she's totally submissive to his will. In this scene, Petruccio kicks his taming program into high gear, morbidly suggesting that he will kill a wife with kindness. But Catherine on his own turf, he can control what she eats, when she sleeps, if she sleeps at all, where she goes, and even what she wears. Worse yet, he can pretend that all is done in reverent care of her, even though Catherine is not likely to believe him. He can even enlist his servants in the taming act, relying on their fear of him to render them cooperative. This night's disastrous dinner is just a preview of the cruel hospitality Catherine can expect at her new husband's house. Petruccio's soliloquy at the end of the scene shows that he is taking the taming analogy literally, employing the same tactics one would use to domesticate an animal. Specifically, Petruccio imagines Catherine as a falcon who must not be full-gorged until she has stooped to obedience. This isn't just a fanciful metaphor. Traditionally, uncooperative falcons were deprived of food by their handlers and not suffered to sleep. These are the two main methods which Petruccio will force Catherine, his haggard or wild-caught hawk, to come and know her keeper's call.